Five pain pills have created the worst drug epidemic in American history. Fort Worth officials say they get three overdose calls a day, but a Texas flower, a flower may be the solution. Teresa Woodard shows us how. And we have two specimens. One Nature is good at keeping yeah. secrets. You see them, here it is. I pull it and you see it coming out. Maybe we should call Texas Woman's University botanist Camelia Mayer. Yeah. And neuroscientist Dana Averett. Those are just neurons. Plant whisperers. And just had this like ding idea. Because they've coaxed those secrets out. And then you realize, wait, I think this is actually going to work. What's interesting is they found a potential alternative to opioids. Uh, these two specimens. A chemical that does the good things pills do but none of the bad, so it stops pain. But we're trying to target the signals as they make their way to the brain. So if we can turn them off like a light switch for a long period of time, then the brain doesn't even know about it and you don't have that pain. But it isn't addictive and it's plentiful. As I said it's a relative of poinsettia, the, the Christmas uh, plant that we get. It's in the sap of a plant called Euphorbia bicolor, more commonly known as snow on the prairie. It's native to our region. So Texas, Oklahoma, uh, Arkansas. Fields of it are in bloom right now, but don't go harvesting it yourself and definitely don't eat it. It wouldn't be swallowed. It could be injected where it hurts, so directly into an aching back or on a burn. The anti-pain effects are, are, are astonishing. Nature can teach us important lessons. We just have to look and listen. In Denton, I'm Teresa Woodard.